In this video, I'm going to be talking about polycystic ovarian syndrome. Hi, I'm Catherine Maslin, Principal Naturopath and Clinic Director of Brisbane Natural Health and Brisbane Natural Fertility. In this video, I'm going to be talking about polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. PCOS is something that we see a lot of in the clinic and it is something that we can help with on so many different levels. So from a naturopathic perspective, we look at PCOS as quite holistically. So we look at all the different components of the, of the disease manifestation and then how we can look at different things and different therapies to tackle them. So with polycystic ovarian ovarian syndrome, what happens is it's a metabolic condition. So it's not just about cysts on the ovaries, although some people will have cysts on the ovaries. It's more about the changes in the metabolism that can kind of lead to anovulation or lead to kind of the, the body not functioning the way that it's supposed to. So what happens in women with PCOS is that they can often have a hormonal picture that kind of can include different things across the board. And this is where it gets tricky because there is not, no one treatment for PCOS because women present so differently. So they may have or may not have high androgens, high luteinizing hormone. Um, you can sometimes see high testosterone, you could see high estrogen in some women, um, but although not as characteristically with PCOS. But the other characteristic that most women will have is they will have some level of blood sugar imbalance or insulin resistance. So the insulin resistance happens because there's too much sugar in the blood and insulin is the hormone that normally gets that sugar into the cells. So all of a sudden the body metabolism has changed and that sugar can't get into the cells anymore. So because the sugar can't get into into the cells, it has to go somewhere um, and it stays in the blood. So what ends up happening is you get a high blood sugar level and that then causes different symptoms. So you can actually monitor your blood sugar in, in way of symptoms to some level. So in women with blood sugar imbalance, what can happen is you'll get really thirsty, um, your kidneys will be working a lot harder because your blood's thicker, you might pee my, my, more often, which kind of makes you more thirsty, um, waking up during the night to go to the bathroom, um, blurry vision or even just floaters in your visual field. You know, little kind of specks of, of dust floating around um, and also moodiness is another really big one as well you know not being able to handle not eating you know snapping at your boyfriend or um, just not being able to handle your moods well so naturopathic treatment of PCOS looks at the hormonal picture and looks at specifically what's going on you know do we need to decrease testosterone do we need to balance out estrogen and progesterone um, you know do we need to reduce luteinizing hormone and there's specific herbal medicines that, and um, techniques that we'll use depending on what's going on there the other side of things is that we can really effectively treat the insulin resistance and there are so many things that we have that are clinically proven um, and that work in my experience extremely well to help to reduce insulin resistance in women with PCOS. So, so because PCOS is quite a complex condition it's not an overnight fix and um, what we actually need to do is work on the body for several months so three to six months minimum is what we need to make changes in polycystic ovarian syndrome and the reason for that is because the changes that are happening with PCOS they didn't get there overnight and it is going to take a little while for, for us to turn the body around and depending how severe it is too. So with naturopathy, PCOS will work with nutritional supplements, we'll look at diet, which is really, really important with PCOS. And herbal medicines are also really key in, the, in that treatment um, strategy to help to reduce hormones and improve fertility as well. So the other side of things is acupuncture, which can be fantastic for PCOS too. And for really stubborn cases, quite often we'll use naturopathy and acupuncture at the same time, just to speed up results a little bit. And it depends what your desired outcome is. You know, if you want to fall pregnant more quickly, then obviously we want to kind of get there quicker. If you, if you don't mind taking it easy and just working away at it, then often one therapy is enough. So if you do have polycystic ovarian syndrome and you have any more questions, please feel free to email me at Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E, -E, at brisbanenaturalhealth.com.au or call the clinic on 3367 0337 and we'd be more than happy to help.